Hello everyone, I wanted to make a little commentary video of my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory build as somewhat of a companion piece to my previous video on my channel and also my post on Planet Minecraft where I post periodic updates of the progress I've been making along the way. Now everything that you would see in the movie from the time the characters enter the factory until they go up through the main chimney is complete. But what I'm trying to do with this build is to add on the factory with many more rooms that were not shown in the movies. And on Planet Minecraft, I've been showing this process slowly, and I've had some people ask me when the world download will be available, uh, and for this reason, I'm not really sure when that will be available, because I want to have as many rooms possible done so that when the map is finally out, people actually have a lot of areas to explore that they've never seen before. And for context, including the rooms that are in the movie itself, I have about 25 rooms complete. So that means I've made about 20 rooms that, that no one has seen before. But canonically, there are actually over 400 rooms in this factory. Now, I'm not going to make all 400 of them. That would just be insane. But I definitely still have a lot of ideas, and I have a list of the rooms that I definitely want to make. Um, and I want those to be done before the download goes up. So I guess I'm sort of just making these videos as a little bit of a sneak peek for anyone who's interested to sort of see some more of this build here. And I also just wanted to kind of have this commentary because I enjoy talking about uh, this build. I'm very proud of it and it's a big passion of mine. So I know these videos aren't for everybody, they can kind of be boring, but if you're interested I hope you stick around and enjoy the video. Alright, so we're just going to get started here so this video isn't too, too long, hopefully. And I want to preface by saying I'm not a professional YouTuber, so I hope the audio and video quality is good enough that it's bearable to watch and listen to. Uh, but anyway, I sort of just wanted to talk about my inspiration and philosophy for the exterior of the factory here. Starting off, for people especially of the younger age, the look of the factory is very iconic, and pretty much anyone who grew up with this movie could say when they look at an image of it is, oh, that's the Chocolate Factory from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So for me, it was very important that I got the proportions and detailing as accurate as I could. And the way I did that was by using actual images of the miniature model set that they built to shoot the movie, as opposed to using, you know, picture steel images from the movie itself. Now, there were some angles where the movie provided the only image of whatever angle that was, so I did have to use the movie, but as much as I could, I used the actual set images. And, uh, you know, this factory has been made by various other people over the, you know, over 10 years, so there's definitely other builds of this factory out here. And I wanted to try my absolute best to not use that as reference. Talking about proportions, now, I think that's probably one of the hardest things to get right building this factory. Now, this is by far the most complete one that I have ever made. I have over, I don't even know how long, the past five years, I've made various other attempts at building this, but never to the completeness that this one is at. And so something that I would always get wrong in those builds were the proportions. Um, and, you know, starting out, it's, it's very easy to get sort of the... Uh, the opening shot here of the entrance of the factory correct because this is by far the angle that you see the most in the movie and finally enough I actually did not get this 100% perfect and it's something I actually want to change in the future but this entrance sort of uh, building here that is suggested to be the main corridor once you get in I actually made mine about one or two blocks too tall for the width that it is so it looks a little bit skinnier than it should be I just haven't gotten around to fixing that yet because I think it looks good enough right now. But for the other areas of the factory, especially this kind of funny looking thing right here, I always think it kind of looks like a face. Uh, this is, I think, the thing that people have the hardest time with, and it was definitely the thing that I had the hardest time with recreating because it's just such a unique combination of shapes and circles and cylinders that um, getting this bottom circle here is crucial to the overall dimensions of the build. Because really, these two buildings right here, at least when I build the factory, are the very first things I make. So everything else is based off the dimensions of these two things right here. Which is why it's a little embarrassing to say that I think I got this a little bit wrong, but I, I'm going to be able to fix it pretty easily, I think. But especially, not so much over here, I, I should have started over here by saying, especially this wing of the factory is probably the hardest 
uh, angles to get you know good pictures of. There really aren't that many out here of this little building. So I was able to find some of actually more so of scenes from the movie where there were like maybe not even half a second scenes where they showed this building. So I was able to get the correct proportions at least as best I could, especially on this side over here. Uh, in the past, I would either just make this completely flat or a lot of people will make this sort of as an angle that comes from this bottom corner and slightly slopes back up here. But to my best research, that's actually not correct. It has this little overhang with a flat face and then a little extension down here. So I was pretty happy that I was able to get this built because this is the, definitely the hardest area to see. And that includes this back section right here. And there are almost no good resources to find this out here. Again, I had to use the movie. But that kind of brings me to another point, especially when you get to these back sections, is, you know, in the movie, they didn't have many scenes of this. So the model itself is not necessarily as detailed as these front sections where there are a lot more panoramic scenes. So that's why, especially for this wall right here, according to the movie model, there actually shouldn't even be any detail on this wall at all. It should just be a completely flat surface. and. In other areas of the factory, like this wall right here, I, I kept that. Um, in the movie, there are no details on this flat wall, so I kept it completely flat. And in Minecraft, it's always a little bit troubling because due to the re repetitive textures, you have to have something to break that up or it just looks very amateurish and very blocky. But it's technically correct for the build here. But I had to break, I guess, the rules a little bit and I put in just some uh, little windows and a little divot here in spirit of the other divots that were present on the actual model So I did that here and then admittedly it gets even worse when you face the very back and My plan is to eventually just freelance some of my own details back here But this is the back of the building and to my best research. I could not find any uh, Images of the back here. So this is just completely bland and boring and there's nothing back there yet but eventually I do want to add some details there before the world download goes out. But for these little areas back here, you know, they have another one of these little weird cylinder things like up here. This is where it is in location uh, in respects to the movie. So I got that in. And that brings me to the next thing, which I sort of just hinted on a minute ago there, was the texturing. So really, I guess the biggest thing in Minecraft for the really good builders whenever they make something is they add a lot of different variation in the textures. And that, you know, really makes it look less repetitive and it helps with the overall build. And you have to do the best you can with Minecraft because, I mean, it's just very pixelated blocks. In the movie, uh, as probably most of you know, the factory is intentionally supposed to look very bleak very dark to a degree, uh, very uninspiring. It's supposed to look just drab and bland and boring. And in the movie, it's built out of bricks. And at the beginning of the movie, it's more of a lighter color. Uh, and then as time goes by, uh, you know, the movie takes place, you know, 15 years or whatever after the initial shots of him opening this factory up. The bricks have weathered, they've darkened a lot, and it went from being almost a sort of a, a mix like a yellowish gray to a very dark weathered brick look and before minecraft added in the deep slate brick you know most of the factories recreations you would see or would just be made of stone brick so it resembled more so the look of the uh the when the factory just first opened but once i had a deep slate brick i started making my creations exclusively out of this brick to give it the more present time that the movie was set in look and I just think that looks really good. But what I did not do, and what I don't really think anyone who makes this recreation does, is you know add in different blocks to sort of break up the texture. Um, and I didn't do that simply because it wouldn't be accurate to the movie look. You know, it's supposed to look very repetitive um, and just very sort of um, like you're not supposed to look at it sort of way. So that's why I don't have any texturing whatsoever. It is literally all made of deep slate brick, stairs and slabs, and that is it. And that also carries over to the windows. Now, if you watch my video that I have, my only other video on the channel, I actually had all the windows as a white glass with white backing behind it. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea why I did that because the movie really doesn't 
even give off a hint that the windows are supposed to be white. You know, maybe a little bit like the, the window frames themselves, you know, are white in the movie. Uh, that's because, you know, there's snow during the time the movie takes place. But in Minecraft, you know, that's like impossible to recreate unless you have custom textures, which I'm not interested in doing. So I just replaced all of the white glass from that video with gray. And I think it looks a lot better. You know, it makes it look much more accurate to the movie. All right, so I think I'm gonna call this video here. It's starting to get a little lengthy, but I plan to make a few more videos, or really however many I need, to talk about everything I wanna talk about. So I don't really expect there to be many people watching these videos, but if you are interested in what I've talked about and wanna hear more, uh, the inside of the factory is really where things are more interesting. Uh, I encourage you to watch the other parts whenever I get around to uploading those. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you watching the next ones.